joining me for another video, for joining me for the first time. Hello! I have some of my dolly vines from the last few weeks. Some I've tried to make a big variety again, um, rather than sticking to just the, you know, ordinary sort of um, barbies and things like that. I want to have... You guys seem to really enjoy the last video where I had a right big variety of dolls, um, you know, from the well-known to the not-so-well-known. So I've thrown them all in here and we'll talk about them as we go through. So where should I start? I think I'll start right on the top. Now, I paid a bit more for her because they're actually... Um, I don't know how they are in your country, but my child dolls by Mattel, these are vintage dolls, are very, very expensive in my country, um, especially to find ones that are in pretty good nick. Um, they're either very dirty because they're cloth dolls, dirty hands, and a lot of them need um, face tucks, which people do by, you know, getting the material and basically pulling it. So much like a surgeon giving a woman a facelift, these dolls get facelifts. Now she's got a few issues, she's got a bit of a mark on her eye there, but to be honest, um, for her being found in a thrift store, she's actually held up pretty well, and so has her hair. There isn't too many pulls, not too many missing hair plugs. Um, her joints are pretty good, and like I said, she's overall pretty clean, just a few little issues on her mouth and her right. eyes, but other than that, She's very good. Now, I paid $30 New Zealand for it. I'll have conversions down on all my dolls for US. I thought that was a great bargain. And considering I actually don't have many My Child dolls because you can pay into the hundreds of dollars um, in my country to get a really good one, I think that's pretty good, to be honest. Coming down to the middle again. Now, this little troll doll, it's a Unita one. Um, very very popular trolls they seem to make comebacks all the time i remember in the 1980s um i think in the 1960s they were popular too then in the 1980s i remember the real ross troll fad and this one is a unita this actually came in a bag with a whole bunch of other bits and bobs here she is up close so obviously she's a cheerleader she's got unita on the front showing her brand um the unita trolls their faces aren't as pretty. They're obviously a copy of the Rust Trolls, but their faces aren't as pretty, in my opinion. But um, they were generally they're generally cheaper to find than the Rust Trolls. But again, I found this one in a bag with other toys for four dollars. So when I took the other toys into account, it comes down to about I paid a dollar for the troll of the four things I kept from the bag. Very cute. And speaking of bags, now I've opened it to take a look. You can see I got this for $3.99. Um, and a lot of my, one of the biggest questions I get asked by people is you find so many things very cheap. You don't have to go to thrift stores to find toys. One of my biggest things is go to secondhand clothing stores. A lot, oh, a lot of secondhand clothing stores have basically toys that are just thrown in whatever their collection bins or at the table, whatever, and they go for very, very cheap. So for $3.99 it came with some stuff, but the reason I brought it was because of this LOL OMG doll. $3.99, I would have paid $3.99 just for her. Let's bring her up. Now I don't have my OMG dolls down with me. I think she's Uptown Girl, which I actually have from Box. Last Christmas um, I was brought Uptown Girl, Downtown Girl Box. It was so fun to put together with all the little, you know, boxes you got to find and stuff. So it looks like she's missing some pe pieces, obviously her shoes. But I actually need a LOL doll to do some experimentation on. <laughs> She's got all her bits and bobs. She's got some clothing there. I'm glad she's got some clothing there because I'm actually going to snip it and see what their lining is, etc. How I can do it myself. Um, and her hair is short, which would be fantastic if I can work out how to dye it black. Is I'd love to make a Betty Boop custom with this style face. And that's my brother texting me to say thanks for wishing him a happy birthday. He's going to get us cake later. <laughs> I am always down for cake. Cake and dolls sounds like a great afternoon to me. All right, so that was what I brought the bag for. Now, when you buy these grab bags, they're fantastic in that they always come with other things. So it came with one of these little things. You can actually get these from the $2 store. Um, they get lots of hair over them. They're like jiggly things. That is gonna go in the rubbish bin for me, but it also came with this rather cute bracelet. Now, 
I have a lot of costume jewelry, a lot of real jewelry, and um, I love to get dressed up and things. Um, if you've seen some of no, oh, those who know me will know. <laughs> My best friend. I love to get dressed up. This is a real gothic, gorgeous wrist bracelet. I actually really like that. So that was a huge bonus to have in the bag as well. And then at the same, uh, the same time at the same store uh, for six ninety nine. So just basically seven dollars you, uh, New Zealand. I found. I think her name's like. Is it like Fire Ember or something? Flame Ember. Um. I'll have her name down the bottom for you anyway. This La La Loopsy girl. Now, I don't actually think I have her. Um, for $7, I definitely am willing to take the chance. I have a large La La Loopsy collection. Um, I will show it one day on video. I have a lot of collections I keep saying that about. But yes, I absolutely have her pet. I once found her pet, the little Dalmatian dog, in a grab bag. For The whole bag was $2 and it had a whole bunch of stuff in from memory. Yeah, I think it was a $2 bag. But um, anyway, I have a little sister as well. So having the whole family and just picking up for second hand, these dolls are about $40 to $60 to buy brand new. Super duper saving. This is why thrifting is the way to go if you want to become a collector. All right, so there's some dolls I want to leave because they has a tiny bit of a story and just a little tip, you know, for the future. Um, that I got free. Well, I, I effectively got free. Let's just say I made a donation. They were they were going to give them to me anyway because they were throwing them out. Going down to here, um, this one I got from the markets. This is a Cabbage Patch Baby. She's in desperate need of a nappy sand soak. Ca nappy sand with Cabbage Patch Kids. I've had a really good run on. Generally, it gets out any stains and I absolutely love it. And then you just have to do a bit of a chemical wash around the vinyl. You know, be careful what chemicals you use, especially around the painted areas such as the eyes. That's something that you need to experiment with yourself. You know, you get something that you're not too, not too keen with and then do it. I hate sometimes giving advice because what works for one doll doesn't work for another doll. <laughs> There's some really good doll channels out there that have lots of little hints and tips. Maybe I'll do one one day, but it's one of those things where you can shoot yourself in the foot because you can say this can work for this and someone will do it on another doll and it completely ruin the doll. <laughs> <laughs> Same like when people are recommending acne cream. I always say, yes, acne cream in sun or under a lamp is fantastic at taking out the stains, but you have to be knowledgeable and how long you need to la it needs to last because if you leave it too long it actually bleaches the the dolls and can leave huge whitened bleach spots um, and a lot of people don't know that they just say oh let's leave it on and it'll be fine and all this sort of stuff it's like no that's not exactly the way to go about it but yeah five dollars for a cabbage patch doll I started rambling there sorry <laughs> she's gonna need a good scrub I will post her up on Instagram when she's nice and clean Getting to, oh, now from the same seller, now I've shown pedigree dolls in my last one. Oh my goodness, I am having such a run with pedigree dolls this year. Now I'm going to have to hold her quite back because she's quite tall. Sorry, sweetheart, so I don't want to make any of you fall off. Um, pedigree dolls, um, I believe they're in the UK, and there were also ones made in New Zealand. They're a vintage line. They're fantastic vintage dolls. Um, you can see there's things that need to be restored on her, like I need to get... um craft glue to put into here and then very gently with um, tweezers insert eyelashes back into her but I don't think her hair is cut I think her hair is actually meant to be that short bob that's it looks natural so I'm going to keep it that short bob anyway bit of a clean um, you can see on the back here pedigree now she's not a walkie talkie pedigree doll she's just very very solid um, most of my pedigree dolls are solid. The lady who had her said she's had her for donkey's years, and I, I quite believe her. It was an elderly lady, and she actually asked me to make an offer. Now, when I made the offer of $15 New Zealand, I honestly thought the woman was going to go, huh, no. But she said to me, do you love dolls? And I was like, yes. I said, I'll, I'll take care of her, and I'll make sure she's up to her former glory. And she said, that's all I want to hear, that someone's going to love her. And she took $15, so I was like, bargain <laughs> when you're making bids on things make a reasonable bid but you know part of being at the markets is to get yourself a deal you don't need to pay secondhand dealer prices okay so I'm gonna get these two dolls 
in a bit. Uh, I want to go with this little one, sweetheart, here. Now, porcelain doll collecting is definitely at a time, and um, if people have been asking me what sort of dolls can I collect that are super cheap, I say porcelain dolls. You can get Franklin Mint full lady dolls, bigger than these lady dolls here. You can pick them up for NZ $20 to $30 each. Fully clothed, amazing. The clothes alone on the dolls are worth more than that. But dolls like this, gorgeous little porcelain dolls. Again, she just needs a bit of a scrub. I think her clothes are actually pretty good. Yeah, it's just really her her porcelain features that need a bit of a set. Her curls, I will set a little, but um, in my experience, when they get too, they're not actually too dry, oh, these ones, but on porcelain doll hair, it's generally better to be very gentle with it than give it a big scrub like you would say, you know, your Playline doll ones. Just reset it, um, use a lot of hairspray. Some people say, don't tell them to use hairspray. Use a lot of hairspray and put it back in. Um, there's a bit of a dirty mark on her ribbon, but this doll here was one dollar and she's perfect. There are no cracks in her. She's fully dressed. She's pretty tidy for an dollar doll. If you're looking to get into dolls gently, um, but you're looking at a cheap collectible doll, I would say start off with porcelain dolls. Um, a cheap adult collector doll. You don't want to get into like Playline Barbies or Bratz or something like that. Porcelain dolls are definitely in a huge slump the last few years. I've picked up <laughs> and I've shown some on Instagram some very expensive antique dolls that sell for hundreds of dollars just because when they're being put in shops no one can be bothered even looking at them and some porcelain dolls they're actually putting in the free bins as well but this one for a dollar is a super super bargain she's absolutely gorgeous just needs her hair fixed love it okay so brats very very popular line um people are always begging for it to come back do I think Brett's needs to make a comeback? No, I actually think the doll line, if the collectors were smart enough, they'd say, no, it's moved on to Poopsie Rainbow High. When something isn't obtainable anymore, it actually wraps up the market on it, especially to new collectors coming in who want to get into um, collecting, you know, Playline popular dolls. I don't see why people keep begging for Brett's to come back. It's had its time. Now, Monster High, I would say, yes, I'd love to see Monster High come back. I think Brett's did its run. I don't think Monster High did its run. I think Monster High marketing um, really messed up on that line. It was still in a high when it started to go down. Uh, the only reason, this one was $1.50, and the reason it was that cheap is because some lovely has gone and snipped the hair on this side. Now, I've actually brought this to completely shave her. I want to do an experiment with a fur, with a fur and, yeah, with a fur line. Basically, for a dollar fifty, I don't mind. She's such a pretty head. If it turns out good, it turns out good. If it turns out terrible, eh, a dollar fifty is less than a coffee. Okay, and then on to a doll, which, as I remember from my youth, was nearly in every old lady's house. <laughs> They were, a lot of them were thrown out. They just had no value back then. They were super, super cheap and they were just gorgeous and everybody had one. They faded over time being cloth dolls. That's why I'm saying to a lot of people that are buying the Na 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 Surprise dolls, just be careful with them. Firstly, with your fingers, cloth dolls get very dirty very fast, um, especially if they're brought for children. And secondly, fabric is subject to fading. I found both of these dolls over the last few weeks. The first one I found at the marketplace. I found her for $6 New Zealand, which I thought was a super bargain. It's been a long, long time since I've seen one, and she's in pretty good condition. You'll see these marks on her, but that to me is very, very common on these dolls secondhand. So the amount of marks on her is actually pretty good, and that there isn't too many, if that makes sense. So I'm going to slowly fabric clean her over time. It's going to be one of those um, time-consuming restorations. And then after feeling like I'd kind of won Christmas finding this sweetheart, I will bring them up at the end, I find this sweetheart at a clearance. Um, there's a thrift store I go to and it has a main thrift store and then behind it has like basically the junk area where you can get things super duper cheap. <laughs> I find this one and I 
picked her up and I was like, she can't work. She cannot work. There is no way she can work. Yep, it's clicking a bit slow, but her clicker is clicking. The little musical box, a lot of them break over time from overwinding. You know, we went to the ladies' houses as kids and we'd be like, eh, 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 until the thing would go, Kluck. and then it would never wind again. <laughs> so her one is actually working. And I took her up to the lady behind the counter, who I actually, um, she recognizes me because I'm in there each week. And I said, oh, it's in the junk. Uh, she, asked, she asked me, did you get this from the main part of the shop? And I said, no, I got it from over there where there was a whole bunch of just dolls. And she said, oh, you can have her for a dollar. So it was Christmas come twice, basically, because I absolutely love these dolls. I'll bring them up and I'll show you their faces. Okay, here she is up close. I'm hoping you see like some 1970s, 1960s vibes in her from her style, but also that anime touch you know those overbearing eyes that very cutesy face she is just gorgeous and you'll see here the fabric stains she's just absolutely gorgeous lots on her socks down here so I'm gonna be very very gentle in cleaning them and taking like their wispy bits of hair that are pulled out I'm gonna get a little um, toothpick and put a split down it and then put a dab of glue on it and be poking them back in where they're meant to go <laughs> she's really really cute and then the same with her she's not so much a 1960s 70s vibe a bit more older style that with her big dress coming out here this is her musical pool part underneath I love, I remember these fingers from the ones my mum had. I used to always play with them because they look like noodles on the end of the hand. <laughs> but it's their faces that get me. They are so cutesy. Absolutely love it. And I really do think that they were starting to show, you know, the first touches of anime in their faces. Okay, so on to the story and on to my favourite find from this video. One of my favorite places to go for thrift store hunting actually doesn't allow access to their bins. You know, I was saying before that some of the thrift stores have like free bins that you can go through before they go to the junkyard. Their bins are behind a gate, which isn't allowed, no public access basically. And I noticed some faces looking out and I was like, those are dolls. <laughs> I actually think I saw a My Child doll in there as well, but I think the owner might have, you know, taken that out. <laughs> These were in bins. And I was horrified. So I actually went around the store and I couldn't stop thinking about those dolls in the bin just being biffed away. I, I honestly, I was so upset. So I thought, no, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to be cheeky. And I went right up to the end part where the workers are working. And I said, look, I'm a doll collector. I can restore dolls. I restore anything from vintage to new. Um, showed him a bit of what I do, etc. cetera. And um, he was like, oh, yeah. And I said, look, I don't know if they've just been sorted into the bins for later. But I noticed that you've got dolls in your bins to throw away. I just wanted to make sure that they're not being thrown away. Anyway, he said, well, I've got to go ask the boss. And he went off and he came back and he said, oh, no, they're, they're the throwaway ones. And I was like, oh, um, do you mind if I have a look at what you're going to throw away? Because I'd rather take it, take it. If I can take it away, it'll be less cost for you in the bins. And he said, yeah, sure. So he, he opened up the gate and let me into the cornered off area. And... The toys and the throwaway bins, honestly, if I'd just put myself as a toy collector, there would have been a few more things coming with me. But because I said dolls, I stuck to dolls. So he gave me a f beautiful, free, fur wheel fins, butterscotch, that completely works. She works. And she's even cleaner condition than my one I brand new that my daughter played with for ages. He, he threw that in there as well. He said, can you take that one as well? I was like, yes. So I went through the bins. Um, there is, uh, and I grabbed the dolls that I thought were worth saving. Um, there were some which might have required a bit too much work, and I didn't want to also seem like I was grabbing everything and taking it home. I was just so horrified. Um, the the my child doll had been removed, 
but I got this little baby alive. There is nothing wrong with this. Um, apparently it was a health thing, I guess to do with COVID because dolls are so commonly handled or something like that. I don't honestly know, I can't answer other than I will be making sure that I check those bins with my beady little eyes every time I walk past and can see around the back. So this one here, now at the, as I said, it was these dolls and a fur real friend and there was some other thing, I can't remember what it was. And they, he just asked me to make a donation at the end because they were throwing it out. And so I actually made an offer which I thought was amazing for still what I was getting. And then he told me, nah, just take them for $10. And I was like, okay, I'll take them for $10. I won't fight, fight with you. So we got this little baby alive with darker skin. I'm not much of a baby alive collector, but to be honest, my brother and his partner are having a baby soon. And this is a great, great toddler doll. I'll give it a chemical wash so it'll be beautiful and clean. And hopefully she loves him. Or he, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. She's still gonna have her test. Then there's this dolly. Now this dolly obviously is needing a wig, which is fine because behind me where you can't see, there is actually a big bag of dolly wigs, which I can use um, as I feel need. Now I'm, I only like to put dolly wigs on wig uh, dolls that I really, really like because they're about 30 to 40 dollars sometimes you can get them small ones cheaper for 20 but when you're looking at good quality wigs you are looking at a good expense so i just love the christmas dress up on this doll look at it and then it has electronics i haven't tested her i tested the fur real friend but there's electronics in there so i don't know if she makes noise she's got a big hole in her head but the face on the doll and the christmas outfit she has in how could anyone want to throw this out honestly i i why would anyone? I'm going to make a smash. This is what happened in the, in the bins. They'll be biffed out. <laughs> My son's toy there. So I just loved her outfit. I loved her face. It's such a happy, jolly baby face. And the even just the jacket. If the, the jacket's removable. Look at this jacket. When you think about what's it, the dolls, I only paid $10 for the lot and a bunch of other stuff. Is, oh, well, a couple of other things, as I said. They're only going to work at about $2 each. This jacket alone is worth more than $2. As is the skirt. I don't, I don't think the boots are removable, but yeah. I got this one. And then my favourite, and honestly, a doll I, <laughs> I never ever thought I would get from a thrift store because there are people that would recognise it. Now, if you've seen previous Instagrams of mine or the doll openings I did on Chucky, Chucky was heavily influenced by the very popular Buddy dolls. The vintage dolls now, he was in there to throw out. He is in really, really good condition. He's just got dust and muck on him from being in the rubbish bin. His clothing is on him and is in good condition. He hasn't had his hair snipped or anything like that. So his hair, basically he just needs a wash and some love my buddy doll was in there now some of these buddy dolls can fetch mega prices i can't believe that the vintage buddy doll was sitting in there to be thrown out i guess if you don't know what he is again because of people are so worried about you know contact with things you know especially with cloth and all this sort of stuff maybe he was in there but yeah he was in the dumping bins and i was horrified <laughs> and I I am so glad I rescued him. My, I was smiling like the Cheshire cat the entire way home. And here's my favorite doll from this find. Um, be vigilant, you know, look at what places are throwing out, obviously, because obviously if they don't know anything about toys, beauties such as him, which once they're thrown out, they're gone forever because they don't make them anymore. <laughs> at least I don't think they make my buddies anymore I think there was a resurge of them at one point but yeah he isn't a he is he's lovely I love him and he will go right nicely next to Chucky upstairs <laughs> I'm sorry for the long video and for the long talking and the long rants and um some people have commented that I talk really fast yes I do I mean I've always have sorry <laughs> If you're a doll collector, please give this video a 
thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys and we love to share it's coming into the christmas season which means there's going to be a great variety of toys from the cute to the creepy coming up because i think we should cater to all types here thanks so much for watching guys good luck with your finds my bye